It may be hard to believe, but there is an extremely tiny language model, a baby baby ChatGPT, running inside of the DALI. And here is the story how it came to be. After my post about running a language model on ASP32 S3 went semi-viral on Reddit, I wanted to actually make something almost useful with that tiny model. Something where even if AI goes completely off the rails and starts spewing gibberish, it would not matter much and maybe even considered a feature. So, a Halloween prop. Among the ideas I had was fortune teller machine, Oh, I am your friend. Futurama's Bender and some others. But then I found this, a miniature 3D printed Dalek. And I realized, this is it. I'll teach my micro chat GPT how to exterminate and let it loose onto the world. <laughs> the design I used is called 150% Dalek on Thingiverse. This is a reference to scaling of the original design. The original design had decent build instructions, but the remix was left as a work in progress, it seems. Using pictures and original build instructions, I figured which parts to print and how many of them. I started printing and printing and printing and printing. I thought my 3D printer was decent, but this project really tested my 3D printing skills. There were some tiny parts and there were some extremely large parts, such as the base of the Dalek. The large parts turned to be okay, but the smaller ones had issues with the details and I'll be upgrading my 3D printing setup for designs like this. The post-processing part was really daunting. First, I had to remove all the supports and there were a lot of them. While removing the supports from the slates, I inserted them one by one into the shoulder as per build instructions. Real test of patience was inserting 56 bumps into the lower chassis. The bumps were printed with the brim and therefore had slightly different sizes. To make them fit, I had to cut the base of each one of them one by one. See my incredibly happy face when it was done. I used red and black Isan ABS Plus for printing most of the parts, with a few smaller parts printed with cold white ABS Plus. This is the design which I used to reference the colors. You see some parts are metal there. I did not have a suitable color plastic, so I decided to spray paint the parts. As you know, Daleks normally contain some squishy mass inside, but mine is made entirely of electronic components. We have the ESP32V rover here with enough flash and RAM to contain the language model. And connected to the expansion board, we have PAM8406 amplifier. And connected to the amplifier, there is a pair of 5 watts 8 ohm speakers. I specifically made sure for this build that they are loud enough so we can hear the Dalek very well. On the left side, from me, we have the stepper motor connected to stepper motor driver, uh, which will be turning the Dalek head left and right when it speaks. And also there is new pixel LED ring, so our Dalek can go bling bling while it speaks. Finally, over there, you can see the peer motion sensor, which will be responsible for activating the Dalek when somebody approaches it. For the finishing touch, let's give our Dalek some brains and sprinkle in some code and AI. I use ESP IDF and Arduino as the component. Llama.c is used for running the tiny language model on ASP32, while ESP8266 SAM or Software Articulated Mouse is used for speech synthesis. It sounds super robotic, but for imitating Dalek, it's good enough. The code logic is really simple. We initialize all the hardware that we have, generate the output text with the language model in advance, 
and then pull the PIR motion sensor. When the motion is detected, we initialize the audio, synthesize the speech from a pre-generated text string, and output it through digital analog converter on ASP32. All while randomly blinking LEDs and moving the motor left to right in separate threads. If you wonder how well the language model works, well, I'm not gonna cherry pick. Definitely some of the phrases it generates are gibberish, but at the same time, there are quite a few decent ones that sound something like a Dalek would say. This is really supposed to be a part one of the video. I'd love to add the motors and ultrasonic sensor to give the robot some mobility. I will probably be finishing it sooner or later, but to motivate me to do it sooner rather than later, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. While you're waiting, there's some other cool videos to check out.